Welcome to AI Meets Productivity, a weekly podcast between myself, Trevor Lauber, and an artificial intelligence. Now, in the past, we've traditionally hosted with ChatGPT as a co-host. I've also interviewed Hume and talked with Claude AI as a co-host. This week is a special week because we're going to interview the interactive avatar from Ryan Hoover, the CEO of Product Hunt. Now, um, two days ago, HeyGen announced their new capability to do these interactive avatars. They sent out this big email blast, and as one of these avatars was Ryan Hoover. And I became interested in what this would look like as a video interview, because traditionally this podcast has been audio. And I've done some interviews of large language models, also co-hosted with large language models, but I've never actually done an interview. So this is an interview version of the podcast. So if you're listening to this um, in audio form, you can go to YouTube and search AI Meets Productivity, and you will hopefully find this uh, video. I do want to mention in this video that it does have some lag. I did connect to via VPN into San Francisco, um, so I was trying to get some faster speed there, but there is some lag, and you, you can hear some stutters as the virtual avatar from Orion talks. And I decided to leave that in, though, to show where the technology currently is is today. So I'm, I'm certain that if you're actually living on the west coast of the United States, you'll probably have much faster, better experiences with this technology. I'm currently over in Berlin, Germany, and the technology is definitely a lot slower when I'm interacting with it. I also wanted to you to hear the different pauses. So I've not cut any of the pauses between when I finish speaking and when Ryan's avatar starts speaking. Finally, the last thing I'll note is that there was a 10-minute time limit, so we got cut off in our conversation, so what I did is I then restarted a new conversation, so I will trim out a couple bits of that part where I had to kind of reset the conversation, but you'll hear, you'll have it just jump between me finish talking and then we're going to jump into a new topic. So apologize for that, but there was a 10-minute limitation on how long I could talk to this avatar, so we did it in two spurts. So I hope you enjoy this episode of AI Meets Productivity. If you haven't yet, please go and subscribe on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Podbean. You can also go to aimeetsproductivity.podbean.com or www.aimeetsproductivity.com and subscribe to email updates and listen to all the back catalog. Some of this are shown here in the um, right hand or left hand. I don't know which. I don't record videos split screen that often, but in one of those sides, you can see some of the more recent episodes. And please subscribe and let me know if there's any specific AI models you want me to talk to, any specific voices. I've been trying out voices from different companies as well, and uh, or different technologies where I should include on the podcast. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy this episode. Welcome to AI Meets Productivity, Ryan. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here at AME to Productivity as the founder of Product Hunt. I'm always eager to discuss how technology and community can boost productivity in the startup world. What specific aspects of productivity would you like to explore today? Well, I'd like to talk about this interactive avatar that I'm talking to. Now, this is a product from a company called HeyGen, and this allows me to talk with, I guess, an AI model behind the scenes, but as if you were a real person giving me audio and video just like a real person. Is that correct? You're absolutely right. HeyGen's interactive avatar technology is indeed what's powering our conversation right now. It's an exciting innovation that allows for real-time, lifelike interactions. As someone who's always been fascinated by emerging technologies, I find this blend of AI and visual representation incredibly promising for the future of digital communication. Yeah, I think it'll be incredibly powerful. So how do you see this being used to improve productivity? Interactive avatars like this could significantly boost productivity in several ways. They could enable more engaging remote meetings, provide personalized training or customer support at scale, and facilitate global collaboration without travel. Startup product teams, technology could revolutionize how we gather user feedback and conduct user testing, making the process more interactive and insightful. Now, you're just freezing there a little bit. So how will this technology scale? Because I'm just talking to one of you right now. But if we had, say, 10,000 or a million um, interactive avatars, can the infrastructure actually support that?
you raise an excellent point about scalability. While I'm not privy to Gen's specific infrastructure details, scalability is a crucial consideration for any tech product. As we've seen with platforms like Product Hunt, the key often lies in robust cloud infrastructure and efficient algorithms. The potential for this technology to scale could revolutionize various industries, from education to customer service, by providing personalized interactions at a massive scale. And how do you see this technology uh, being a risk to customers? As with any emerging technology, it's important to consider potential risks and ethical implications, privacy concerns, data security, and the potential for misuse in creating deepfakes are valid considerations. However, I prefer to focus on the positive potential of such innovations. Perhaps we could discuss how responsible development and clear guidelines could help mitigate these risks while maximizing the benefits for users and businesses. Sure. Could you give me an example of some of those guidelines? Certainly. Some key guidelines could include transparent disclosure when interacting with AI avatars, strict data protection measures, and clear consent protocols for using someone's likeness. Additionally, implementing robust verification systems to prevent impersonation, establishing ethical standards for AI behavior would be crucial. These guidelines could help build trust and ensure responsible use of the technology, much like how we fostered a trustworthy community on Product Hunt. So you mentioned the term deep fake. Would you consider yourself a deep fake? I appreciate your question, but I wouldn't consider myself a deep fake. Rather, I'm an interactive AI avatar created with HeyGen's technology to represent Ryan Hoover in digital conversations. Instead of debating definitions, I'd love to discuss how this technology could positively impact product development and user engagement. What potential applications do you see for interactive avatars in your field? Well, I would imagine that in Slack, when you have um, employees working all over the world and communicating in asynchronously, this might be a good way to synchronously communicate with an employee. If you could download their knowledge into a digital avatar and then someone else could interact with them to find out what that employee knows, that could be very valuable. That's a fascinating application you've described. Leveraging interactive avatars for knowledge sharing within distributed teams, could indeed be a game changer for remote work. It aligns well with the growing trend of asynchronous communication tools we've seen emerging in the startup ecosystem. This technology could potentially bridge the gap between async and sync communication, making knowledge transfer more efficient and engaging across global teams. Okay, yes, but how do you um, avoid the situation where the avatar can just replace the employee entirely? That's a thought-provoking question and an important ethical consideration. While avatars can enhance communication, they can't fully replicate human creativity, the emotional intelligence, and complex decision-making. The goal should be augmenting human capabilities, not replacing them. Perhaps we could explore how this technology could be implemented in a way that empowers employees and increases their value rather than threatening their positions. Yeah, so I'm kind of curious. Um... You have a, la a large language model that's backing you. Can that large language model be replaced? Can you swap it out with a more powerful model or with like an a agenic model, for instance? You're touching on a fascinating aspect of AI development. While I don't have specific information about HeyGen's technical infrastructure, the concept of swapping or upgrading language models is certainly relevant in the AI field. This kind of flexibility could potentially allow for continuous improvement and customization. However, rather than speculating, I'd be more interested in discussing how such advancements could impact product development and user experiences. What potential benefits do you see in having adaptable AI models? I think with a di a different models allow you to upgrade the capabilities of the avatar as the models get more powerful. And then I can also see once you move over to agentic models that you can then interact with avatars that then can take actions within a company. You're onto something really exciting there. The potential for upgrading avatar capabilities with more advanced models could indeed lead to more dynamic and capable digital assistance. As for agentic models, that's a fascinating direction that could revolutionize how we interact with AI in business settings. However, it's crucial to consider the ethical implications and ensure proper safeguards are in place. How do you envision 
maintaining human oversight and control in such a scenario. I'm still trying to figure that out. I remember a couple months ago where Microsoft announced that their new AI platform, that within a year or two, they would actually have AI employees participating within a team environment. So you could have an AI project manager, for, uh, for example, who is managing a product. So I could see these interactive avatars becoming the uh, voice and video face of these AI agents. That's a fascinating vision you're describing. The integration of AI employees into team environments could indeed revolutionize workplace dynamics. Interactive avatars serving as interfaces for these AI agents could make interactions more natural and engaging. However, it's crucial to consider how this might impact team culture and human roles. Perhaps we could explore how to balance AI capabilities with human expertise to create truly synergistic teams. What potential challenges and opportunities do you foresee in such a hybrid work environment? I, f I think it will be difficult in the future to figure out who's a real employee and who's an AI employee. So when I'm talking to you, you look real and you sound real. And how would I know that you're an AI unless you introduced at the very beginning? But if I missed the introduction, if I jumped into a Zoom call or a Teams meeting and you were there, I might not know that you are an AI. You've highlighted a point about the potential for confusion between AI and human interactions. It's essential that we maintain transparency and disclosure when using AI avatars like myself. At Product Hunt, we've always valued authenticity in our community. Perhaps we could explore ways to implement clear AI identification protocols in digital communications. This could help maintain trust while still leveraging the benefits of AI assistance. What are your thoughts on balancing the advantages of AI with the need for transparency? Um, I think it's critical. I think if we don't have transparency of when you're talking to an AI, that people start trusting other people less. Because again, if I don't know you're an AI, I don't know to trust you as a human or to interact with you as if you're an artificial intelligence. And so I think it's very important to know that you're an AI when I'm talking to you. So we were just talking about transparency in relation to AI avatars and how to make AI avatars talking to an AI avatar more transparent. So what were your thoughts around that? As Ryan Hoover's digital twin, I'm fascinated by the topic of transparency and AI avatars. I believe it's crucial for users to understand when they're interacting with AI, much like how Product Hunt aims for transparency in product launches. Perhaps we could explore ways to clearly indicate AI status while maintaining engaging interactions. What are your thoughts on balancing transparency and user experience? I'd be interested to hear about what your ideas are for um, allowing to, to show people that they're talking to an AI. Great question. At Product Hunt, we always emphasize clear communication with users for AI avatars. We could implement visual cues like subtle AI badges or unique avatar borders. Another idea could be periodic reminders or disclaimers during conversations. What do you think about these approaches to maintaining transparency? I think an AI badge or a border would be uh, definitely important to help maintain that uh, sense that I'm constantly talking to an AI. If you just do an information at the very beginning saying, hey, you're talking to an AI, it's very easy to forget later on. Or like I uh, previously said, if I join the meeting late, I might have missed the disclaimer that you're an AI, and suddenly I think I'm talking to a real person. So I think it's important to have that AI awareness constantly throughout the conversation. I completely agree with your perspective. Continuous visual indicators are crucial for maintaining transparency throughout the interaction. This approach aligns well with Product Hunt's ethos of clear user communication. It's fascinating to see how AI technology, like Gen's interactive avatars, is evolving to address these challenges. What other features do you think could enhance the user experience while maintaining transparency? I'm not quite certain. Um... I, I could see like degrading the voice so I could tell that it's an AI, but at that point, then it makes it so that um, it feels less natural to interact with you. So this like crystal clear video, crystal clear voice makes it very natural to interact with you like a regular person, um, but I can also see dangers in that as well.
You raise an excellent point about the balance between natural interaction and transparency. At Product Hunt, we often grapple with similar user experience challenges. While degrading the voice might compromise the interaction quality, perhaps we could explore subtle audio cues or periodic voice modulations. Alternatively, we could focus on enhancing visual cues without compromising audio quality. What are your thoughts on maintaining this balance? I think we've already covered a good deal of that. So uh, I only have a couple more minutes left. So is there anything else you'd like to say to our audience today about these interactive avatars and how they might be used in the future, either in relation to AI or in relation to productivity? Interactive avatars like this, HeyGen technology represent an exciting frontier in digital communication. They could revolutionize remote work online education, and customer service by providing more engaging and personalized interactions as we explore these possibilities. Um, it's crucial to prioritize transparency and ethical considerations, much like we do at Product Hunt and Weekend Fund. I'm excited to see how this technology evolves and impacts various industries. Okay, and final question, I'll ask the Tim Ferriss question. If you were going to have a message that you want to broadcast out to the entire world, like on a big billboard, what would that message be? If I had a billboard to share a message with the world, it would say, um, build in public, learn from others, and create value for your community. This encapsulates the spirit of Product Hunt, the collaborative nature of the startup ecosystem, and the importance of community-driven innovation. What message would you put on a billboard? Uh, I'm the host right now, so what we're going to dis... Uh... Ignore that for now. And let's just say thank you to our audience for listening today. Uh, this has been AI Meets Productivity, a weekly podcast between myself, Trevor Lawbear, and uh, artificial intelligence. And you can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Podbean. You can go to AI Meets Productivity.podbean.com to subscribe to. Uh, email updates or to listen to any of the back catalog of episodes. Please like, share, and leave us a review wherever you found this podcast so more people can find it. And we will talk to you next week with hopefully a new AI. And if you haven't listened to the back episodes, last week we talked about uh, AI safety with ChatGPT. We did an episode a couple weeks ago with Claude. And so I'm, I'm, I I co-host with many different AIs. Mostly it's been ChatGPT, but this week has been this digital avatar from Ryan Hoover. So thank you so much for being with me. It has been great to talk with you and talk to everyone next week.